What's up guys, it's Shooter882 and Too Tired to Care here, and we are here to bring you some tips on how to survive in Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sim. We're back in Dark Souls. I just recovered from Bloodborne. Oh joy. Well that's what we're here for, is to help people get the most out of it and to get as far as they can before they break their TV. <laughs> Alright, so first off, we are here in the Forest of the Fallen Giants. This is usually the first place that you're going to get to when you start uh, Dark Souls 2. I almost said Bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> um, as soon as you go off, there is an NPC called Mild Mannered Pate. You'll be seeing him pretty much throughout the rest of the game. Um, and he is the first NPC for the boss that you will encounter. Alright, so the last giant. He is generally the first boss that you're going to see in the game. Um, I put some resin on there. He's The thing with most of the bosses is that they are weak to certain elements. So magic, lightning, dark, etc. Et are you serious? He's just stomping. That's the thing. With this boss, it's once you know what to do, it's actually quite easy. With this boss, you really want to stand right behind the heel because that will actually trigger the attack of just a stomp. He has a lot where he, like, he, he, as you can see there, he ripped off his arm and he uses it as a weapon. But if you stand in front of him, that's what he does. But see, if you stand right behind his heels, then that will actually trigger him, trigger those specific attacks, which are extremely easy to just back away from. You just keep doing that. You don't even really need a shield. There's my awesome face, by the way. I thought you'd like that. You don't even really need I don't a even shield. Know how to, I don't know how to describe that ugly mug of yours. That is pretty <laughs> it's freaking bad. It's beautiful. Anyway, so stay behind the heels and just watch his feet, and you're good for that fight. That's the first boss done. Now, second one, the Pursuer. He is very <laughs> intimidating, I guess is the best way to say it. Giant dude oh, in armor. He's... What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. This boss is a pain in the dick to fight normally. But uh, if you're able... Yeah, he's... he also throws stuff at you. If you're able to get him to charge at you right in front of one of these ballistas, the easiest way to do it is get him stuck there and hit him with it. Look at the damage. Two shots. That's not even fair. Boom. But you saw how quick he was. He's a he's a fast guy. Like He's fast and he flies... And it hits very, very hard. He's able to incapacitate you in one shot. Your oh, that, character needs to see a doctor. Well, he, uh, very he's, bad. Uh, uh, he's trying to... Uh, 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 there you go. There's his face. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back later on for more bosses and how to survive in Dark Souls 2. He's holding me hostage. Someone help. Yeah, I'm totally coming out. <laughs>